right, guys, let's kick off this everyday wear watch. Hey, man, this is one of my favorite watches. I've had it for about three, four years now. Dude, it is hands down my favorite watch for the money. Um, I think that you're going to agree with me. I'm going to give you some positives, and I'm going to give you some negatives about it, too. There's always negatives of most stuff, but this guy, it's mostly positives, man. I really, 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 really like this watch. So um, let's get started. Okay, first of all, huge positive. First of all, look at this watch. Huge positive is that face. Look at that dial. It's beautiful. I love that day, date, function. See if I can do this without getting my camera and all that stuff in the mix. You can see the indices are applied. Um, on the, you see the second hand there, it's got that little tiny T on it. That T is loomed and the hands are loom. Now the looms is not, it's not great loom. It's not like, um, it's not gonna be like your Seiko loom or anything like that. So don't, you know, don't think this is gonna be a loom monster because it's definitely not. But I wanna go to what I think is probably the biggest positive in this guy is this movement. This movement has 80 hour power reserve. That's not common on a watch under $500, guys, okay? The, the, there's watches that are four and five times this cost that uh, that get up there with this guy. So, I mean, you got like the Breitling Transocean. It's got, it's $5,000 and it's 40 hour power reserve. It's got your day date function like this. Um, you've got the tag that uh, the Caliber 5, it's a ETA, Salita base movement. Um, it's 38 power reserve. It's $2,500 watch. You've got a, what the, um, let's say the uh, Longines Master Collection. It's a caliber L897, I think. Um, it's an ETA based. It runs, I think it runs 64 hour power reserve. Um, it's a great watch too. Matter of fact, it's a great watch for the money. It is, uh, it's about $2,500 too. But this guy here, this, this to sew, 80 hour power reserve, and it's under 500 bucks. You can get this thing under 500 bucks. Look at it, look at it. Um, the only thing on this, you can notice that um, the, uh, it does not have a regulator. So basically it's an ETA, they've pulled the regulator off, they've regulated it from the factory, I think they do it with a laser or something like that, but you can notice there's no regulator on there. So you can't just pop this off and try to regulate this watch yourself. Now, a jeweler or a watchmaker can actually regulate this. There's a different way to regulate it. So it can be regulated. Don't freak out that, oh my gosh, it can't be regulated. It is what it is. This guy is running two seconds. Two seconds. Yes, you heard me right. Two seconds fast a day. You cannot beat that, man. Let me tell you, it is my most accurate watch. Um, look at the look at the look at the case. Look at those little tiny brushed indentions on there. You know, it's all polished. Now, guys, you're gonna see all kinds of nicks and and probably fingerprints, all kinds of stuff on this watch because uh, it is everyday wear. I've had it three years. This this guy is three years old, and it is chugging right along. It has been, it's been great to me. It's great wear. It holds up good. Look at the, look at the polished. You can see the polished here, right through here, and the brushed up top, and the brushed right here, the polished all through. You can see the signed crown here. It's not screwed down. It is one, it is hackable. This watch is hackable. It is hand windable. Um, so, pull this little guy out here. It's gonna stop that second hand. Um, and then you can, if you can hear this, I'm gonna try to see if you can hear it. It's so smooth, you can't hardly even tell that you're winding this guy. Of course, you're not really gonna have to wind this much with an 80 hour power reserve. You take this thing off for uh, the day and you can go three or four days without, without winding it, so. 
look at it there. So it says, uh, you can see there, it says high tech escapement. So basically it's just gonna be very, very long power reserve on this guy. Um, so first positive is the movement. Um, hands down, I, I don't think you can beat it. Modified ETA, I think they call this movement um, an ETA C07. I think that's actually the the the, the movement name on this watch, uh, or the the code, or however you want to take it. Um, the second positive on this guy is you can dress it up, you can dress it down. It has that beautiful, beautiful black. I mean, it's hard to not get reflection off of it because it's it's just a beautiful black doll. But you can see the See, if I can get a good, not, uh, it's hard to get reflection on this. It is sapphire crystal. It does not have an anti-reflective um, coat or anything on it. It's just straight there. You can kind of see that way. It's very hard to get a good picture of. Uh, it doesn't do it justice. The camera doesn't do it justice. Um, uh, and then the, the third positive is the price. I mean, you cannot beat this. You can't beat the price. Under 500 bucks? Come on, guys. I mean, geez, spend $2,500 on a watch and get not even the same power reserve on it. Um, so <laughs> it is what it is. So I'm going to sit it down. I'm going to tell you this, this guy here, this is the bracelet that came on it. I think this is probably a beautiful bracelet. I cannot, I cannot down any of the the way that this is made or the way that it's finished. It is just normal push pins, which mm, it is what it is. I'm I'm fine with push pins. Some people say you know screw down is the only way to go, which I do like screwing pins, but I don't like this. Okay, I hate butterfly clasps. Because the reason I don't like them is this part right here, it, I have this indention in my wrist that looks just like this at the end of the day and I can't stand it, okay? I don't like that. Just so I wish you would have had a regular clasp on this instead of this butterfly clasp. Um, the other negative, um, I wanna give you positive first, but, the, Let's go positive first. Positive is solid end links. So this bracelet is built wonderful. The negative is that lug is 22 millimeters and it does not taper. This entire bracelet is 22. So this bracelet wears so big. I've got a six and three quarter inch wrist as you guys know. And it just, it wears like a monster. I. I this bracelet wears like I should be wearing a um, a big diver, a 42 inch, a 42 millimeter diver with it. It's not, it's not a dress watch slash whatever. It just, it's too big for the watch, and I, I like the bracelet. It's just too dang big for the watch, and that butterfly clasp. I'm just not feeling it. I'm just not feeling it, man. Um, so let's get to the di the dimensions of this guy, okay? So from here, from tip to tip, you've got a 30, no, I'm sorry, let's see. From tip to tip, you have 46 millimeter, which is a great wear for anywhere between a six inch, I mean, a, yeah, a six inch to about a seven and a half inch rest. So if you're in that deal, this watch is for you. Um, 39, 39 millimeter case. It wears slightly bigger. I think it wears more like a 40 because of the because of the bands and the straps and that 42 millimeter lug to lug. I wish they would have put a 20 millimeter lug in there. It would have been it would have been better. You could have got a lot of different straps. Now you can find a strap guys for a smaller wrist that that tapers it tapers down and it's it's the right length so you know give and take 22 20 whatever i just think that this watch should have a 20 millimeter 
um, lug opening instead of 22. Um, it is about 10 and a half millimeters thick, so it wears super, super slim. Um, it wears super slim, and it the lugs do turn down a little bit, but it wears so short for this 46 lug to lug. It's, um, it's great the way it wears. And I'm gonna try it on for you. You've probably seen pictures. I can't remember if I sent a picture of it um, before this video with it on the wrist, but I'll show you some wrist shots too. Um, it, it is sapphire in the front and sapphire in the back. So the sapphire crystal, it's great. It just doesn't have a anti-glare um, coating. I wish it did, but uh, hey, you can't for $500. I mean, come on guys. Uh, it's a hundred water. It's a hundred meter water resistant. I mean, come on guys. Look at it. Look at it on this, this strap. This is a Colorab strap that I got. And this is the shorter one. Um, these, these watch straps are just amazing. They're, they're thick, but they're so soft. I mean, it just, it's, it's really soft. And it's soft the second you take it out. The second you take it out of the package, it's this soft. But man, it gets, oh man, when you wear it, it's great. They're made in Italy. Uh, one up for this strap, guys. I would strongly recommend this. If you've got a smaller wrist, then get the shorter size. Um, I'm right in the middle. I'm on that fourth right smack dab in the middle, and I've got a six and three quarter. So if you've got a seven, uh, you're going to be borderline probably too short on this. If you've got a six and a half, this is perfect. If you've got a six, this is probably going to wear good too. So, um, so that's it, guys. That is the so day date. Beautiful, beautiful watch. Strongly, strongly recommend. Everyday wear, okay? You can dress this guy up. You can dress this guy down. You can wear it all over the place. Um, I will give you one more thing that that I like. It's a love-hate relationship about this watch. Is this bezel here? It kind of reminds me of the bezel on the Hamilton Khaki King. If you've ever had one, you notice that, I don't know if you can pick up the scratches, but you can see right here, there's little bitty nicks and little scratches on it because it is highly polished. Um, I love that, but you're constantly trying to wipe little scratches off of it, and you've got these little nicks and scratches like that, but really, this watch... Um, takes it pretty good and I do like the fact that these are polished here instead of I mean these are are um, brushed instead of polished so if you nick here you're really not gonna not gonna show it's not gonna show many signs of it but so guys that's it that is the to sew day day strongly strongly recommend guys thanks if you like this video Give me a like.